In 1995, Yellowstone National Park welcomed 14 new wolf residents. These wolves played a remarkable role in saving the park's struggling ecosystem. Let's find out how. Back in 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant signed the National Park Protection Act into law, establishing Yellowstone as the very first national park. The main goal was to safeguard its natural beauty and wildlife for future generations. Yellowstone did a great job protecting many animals, but it left out some key predators, like the wolves. Sadly, by 1926, all the wolf packs in the northern Rocky Mountains were gone. Although occasional wolf sightings continued, they couldn't control the prey population. As a result, the deer and elk populations grew a lot, causing overgrazing and harm to important plants. Wolves were crucial in Yellowstone's ecosystem as top predators, keeping the balance between predator and prey in check. But when they were removed, it set off a chain reaction called a trophic cascade. Elk multiplied, munching on more vegetation. This hurt species relying on those plants, such as birds nesting in trees, and beavers using willows for their dams. With no beaver dams, native fish started declining. And as fish numbers dropped, so did animals that fed on them, like foxes and bears. Removing one species led to a series of negative effects throughout the ecosystem. In 1974, the great wolf was officially recognized as endangered, and efforts to bring wolves back to Yellowstone began the next year. However, the program faced challenges due to insufficient funding and support. Despite the legal mandate to start in 1975, Congress only allocated funds in 1991. After receiving over 160,000 public comments, 31 gray wolves were brought from Canada to Yellowstone. The returned wolves managed to control the elk population, which dropped from over 15,000 in the early 90s to around 6,000 last year. Their presence also changed elk behavior. They avoided areas where they might be hunted, allowing these regions to recover. By 2006, tall aspen trees grew, creating habitats for various bird species, and facilitating the return of beavers. Beaver colonies increased from 1 in 1996 to 12 in 2009, leading to a boom in fish life due to beaver dams, which raised water levels and created ideal conditions for fish. Reduced herbivore activity allowed riverbank plants to thrive, decreasing erosion significantly and even altering river courses. The reintroduction of a small wolf population transformed the entire park's landscape, preserving Yellowstone's ecosystem for future generations. But there are challenges. In 2018, Congress added anti-wolf measures to funding bills for the Department of the Interior, potentially leading to wolf hunting. In 2015, there were around 500 wolves in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Without protection, they could be brought back to the brink of extinction in just a few years. This shows the complexities of conservation, it can take decades to save an ecosystem but only a few years to harm it. Unless we act swiftly, wolves may face the same threat they once overcame. We hope you've enjoyed learning with us today. If you did, please subscribe so you won't miss any future uploads. And remember, there's always more to discover.